the whispering dweeb here and uh, this is gonna be my first ever ASMR video or at least attempt at one um, I'm hoping it's uh, you know at least somewhat successful uh, I finally decided to go ahead and try and make a contribution to the community because I've been watching uh, ASMR videos for probably about a year and a half now and I thought I'd uh, you know try and have my hand at one and um, see if you guys like it at all and see what the general feedback is kind of thing um so what this is gonna be is gonna be a it's gonna be is gonna be uh it's going to be a commentary of uh a league of legends match i had today and uh it was a duo queue with uh, my buddy who is the chogath um and this is just a recording I had of the game, so there's not going to be any sound of like the keyboard or the mouse or anything like that. I just recorded the game without any sound and then um, decided I'd go ahead and just talk over or whisper over rather. Um, and I might do a little bit of soft speaking as well, but I think it's going to be uh, mostly whispering. Um, I haven't really messed with how it sounds, I guess. Uh, so I guess... I'll just have to pay attention to the feedback as best as I can and, and see what you guys like. If you guys like the soft spoken or the, the whispering better. Um, I'm just using a typical uh, mono mic. Uh, it is a nicer mic though, so I'm hoping it works pretty well for this. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, and there's some background noise already, so that's awesome. Hopefully it's not too bothersome. Um, I'm playing Skarner in this game. Uh, jungling, of course. Uh, this is probably about uh, gold three, gold four elo. He's a, uh, my buddy's a silver uh, two, I think, or a silver one. And I'm gold three, I think, at this point. I did get promoted today, but um, that's beside the point. Um, so I really, really, really like Skarner right now. I think he's in a great place and he fits in pretty well with the meta. Um, he's, a, he's a good tank that can actually, um, you know, chase down uh, squishies and, and things like that and help pursue and, and he has a pretty much guaranteed lockdown which I think is something that is pretty rare. I mean, uh, it's him, Warwick, and, and, and Mousehar are the only three that have uh, suppression like that right now. Um, and the, the reason I chose this game to talk over is for one thing, it's it's a flawless game. I go end up like 13-0. Um, so it's, it's an easy game for me to explain like you know uh, what what happened and, and plus i get to brag about it a little bit so that's cool but uh i'm gonna be just gonna be talking about why i do what i do and when i do it um and also like if i what i do wrong because i'm sure i make mistakes uh i am essentially an, a jungle main i guess i would say so uh jungle presence and jungle uh timing and things like that are something i, I know a lot about <clears throat> And as far as it goes for this season, uh, jungling has been kind of up and down. It's been pretty crazy. With Cinder Hulk, it's, it's really, really, really easy just to pick a tank jungler and just um, do really, really well. So I'm going to just be starting out here at the typical the golems with bot lane leash because I'm on uh, blue side. So And I'm going to be I smited it so that I get the stun right away. And then uh, after you smite it, the first attack you do is a stun. To start with Q, I was max Q, and then typically I max W a second uh, for the speed boost uh, and, the, and the shield, obviously. Um, this game, I think I put a couple extra points in E just because we're winning and, and the slow is nice. Uh, but uh, first Garner, I run movement speed, attack speed, armor and magic resist, uh, runes, and then I do a uh, 21 9, or 21 6 3 actually um, for the attack speed. It, Oh no, I'm sorry, my runes do have cooldown as well. So I, have a, I start the game with 10% cooldown reduction, which is actually really, really cool. Um, it helps a lot, especially for jungle clear and early ganks. Um, so basically what I'm doing now is I'm just doing the standard jungle clear to get to level 3 and then get double buff. I'm paying attention to mid a lot because I feel like uh, getting a mid gank off would be really helpful to snowball our Yasuo. Because uh, he's gonna he's pretty much going to carry the game. Um, we have a Chogath knockup, which is really nice for Yasuo because it helps him to not have to rely on his tornado as much. Uh, so right here, I see that he's pretty low, so I decide I'm going to go try and help him out. But right here, this Yasuo just makes a total play and and uh, poops on him, so it's, it's real good. Um, at this point, I'm like, okay, well, we have we have pressure mid, so I'm going to go ahead and try for an invade. And I 
I see that he hasn't finished this yet, so I'm gonna try and just put pressure on him, really. Um, and right here, I get the stun, and he, he, for some reason, he charges back in, which is really silly. And then I throw the E, and I'm like, oh darn, I didn't kill him, but red buff saves the day. So, uh, this also gets pretty excited about it, it's funny. Um, but that's the thing, one thing about Skarner is that, uh, with a... Uh, jungler like Vola Bear or uh, Mumu, say uh, a tank jungler that doesn't have early game damage, uh, can get locked up really easily by a Skarner with red buff because of his passive. Uh, you hit him with three skills, and then and then they get a, they get stunned. Um, so now I'm just going back to jungling a little bit, just gonna get some clear, get some more gold. Uh, typically, what I want to do is save up for at least uh, the smite upgrade. And the health crystal. I believe on first pack this game I get the smite upgrade, the health crystal, and boots. Um, so I'm just I'm just doing some clear and I'm paying attention to bot because I see that they're pushed up and I'm hoping that they're not getting ganked and then you know Yasuo gets another kill which is pretty awesome. Uh, but uh, bot lane does pretty well uh, pushing up but not uh, overextending and not getting caught because they're warding river. Uh, which is the best thing to do when you're pushing up like this. But they also know that Vola Bear is behind because I did kill him and I did get double buffs, which means he's having a hard time clearing right now. Uh, and I see him getting killed right here, but he gets away. I was going to go help him out uh, if, if Vola Bear overextended, but he ended up backing up because he knows he's behind and behind in levels and, and everything like that. And he wouldn't be able to take Yasuo, especially if I was there to back him up. Um, because if he was being smart right there, he would notice that nobody else has seen me yet. So I'm going ahead and going back here. Like I said, I'm going to get upgraded smite um, boots and health crystal and then some pots as well. Just to um, sustain in the jungle a little bit better so that the the more I can be in my jungle, then the, the more I'm going to be keeping up with gold and as well as experience. So uh, it's going to be really helpful. Uh, basically what I do as a jungler, especially now, is, is I'm looking to rest the game in our favor as much as I can from every single position. Um, so that includes obviously ganking and trying to snowball carries. That includes pressuring, so that means um, if a lane is is free, then I'm probably going to try and push it. Um, because tower, is, tower goal is, is incredibly important. And also the... the um, uh, shoot. Oh, and I see him get an... Oh, no, he almost gets killed. That's right. And I end up cleaning up this kill right now. It's actually pretty funny the way I do it. Um, I see he levels up, but you can see him backing. And I can see that he's still backing because of the animation. And I know that if I do that, it'll be enough damage. And for some reason, he tries to come and fight me. But he's a level behind. Tons of items behind. I remember just laughing really, really hard right there because I thought that kill was really funny. Um, but, uh... Anyways, uh, so... What I'm trying to do is obviously look at lanes and see what uh, lanes need pressured and kill pressure and then uh what i want to do especially at this point in the game seven minutes in my red buff will be soon that will be up soon sorry because i uh, started red buff and then also i'm going to be wanting to pressure bottom because we want to get dragon pretty much as soon as possible because of the uh bonus to uh, attack damage and ability power which is really really nice early to mid game to have that little bonus um so, I am level 6 now, which means I get my ultimate, which is, again, is a surprise and I can drag someone back, which is really, really, really nice. Um, so right now I'm looking at drag, I think my red buff timer should be up here, and I think it's like 6 seconds, yeah, 6 seconds, and then I, um, so I'm just gonna do that real quick, and then, and then hopefully gank. I'm just looking at the shop to see, to remind myself how much gold it is to, um, finish the Cinder Smite item. Um. Sometimes I forget the Google cost of things. <clears throat> so the reason I'm not really paying attention to top is because I'm in a Skype call with it with the Cho'Gath and he's telling me he's doing all right. Um, he's telling me like that he's not uh, able to, you know, do the trades that well, but he's doing fine as far as farming and things like that. And Timo's not really doing a whole lot. I'm not terribly worried about a Timo in general. Um, the sucky thing about Teemo is that sometimes if you end up up there, you can you can get kills pretty easily. So I believe right now I actually ask him, I'm like, hey, do you want me to come top after a gank? Because you know, I look up there and I see he's pretty low, and he says yes. 
Um, so I'm gonna, I, I mean, sorry, if I, if he wants me to come top, I have to blue buff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do blue buff real quick, and then, and then hopefully hit top. But I see that he's going to reverse, so I assume he's warding. But what it actually is, is he's just placing shrooms, because he's level 6. Uh, and that ends up actually ruining my gank. But it's okay, because I'm making him waste time and making him lose experience. So I come up here, and I plan to go the long way. Because uh, if I can get behind him with my ultimate, it's really good. I really hope you can hear the airplane. I live really close to an uh, Air Force base. <laughs> um, so I see, yeah, I'm going for him right now, but he, I get by his room and the slow is just ridiculous because I only have boots one. I ping him because I'm hoping Yasuo responds and jumps on him, but it's okay that we don't get a kill out of it. I'm okay with that. We just uh, pressured him out of lane a little bit and kept him from some CS, which is nice. So at this point, I'm looking to invade again and, and try and get something out of this jungler. Um, he hasn't, he cleared, I forgot that he cleared his red late, so he's, it's not back up yet. So instead, I go ahead and decide to look for him and also uh, take his golems here. Because uh, I pretty much have every upper hand on him. I have, he's, he probably hasn't even finished his sander hulk late yet. Uh, or his uh, boomies, what's it called? Something sander, the whatever, not finished one. His red buff did come up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay up here and, and wait for this Teemo. And I'm hoping he doesn't know where I am, but then I believe I hit a shroom. Yeah, that was really weird. I didn't hit it right away. But he's back here right here, and I just missed him like a couple of seconds earlier, and I would have gotten him. But that's okay. Um, I go ahead and leave the joke at the farm. Uh, I could have taken some of that farm, farm myself, but I didn't. I haven't done anything for him yet, so I don't deserve to, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and uh, farm a little bit more. Zed says he sees me, which is I'm kind of like, okay. Um, but I'm looking at men again. I'm seeing that they're fighting. And then he dies to ignite, which is really, really lame and unfortunate. Um, but I know that I still have the upper hand uh, against this Vola Bear. So I'm kind of hoping that he's doing his red right now. And so I head over there uh, because I had seen that it respawned. And so I know that it's actually there. So I go there, and he's not there. So I decide to go ahead and just uh, start it and take it. Um, I didn't pull it into the bush right away, but then I realized that I didn't, and then I start to. Um, and basically, that just means that he can't see it. Um, and I actually missed my, which is really funny. And I see him healing right there, so I assume his, his, his passive is popped. So that's why I fight him, but I'm just too strong for him anyways. Uh, so his passive hadn't popped until after we fought, or when we fought, sorry. Um, even though for some reason I had the healing and animation, which is strange, but that's okay. Uh, I know that I can just beat him in a straight up 1v1 with my ult because he can't attack me when he's in my ult. Uh, it's a lot of free damage that I get on him and he can't really do a whole lot. Um, so I'm telling bot lane right now that uh, I'm planning on doing dragon after I back. So I go ahead and back and uh, uh, just let them know that it's going to be a sec before I get there, but I am coming. Um, and I accidentally buy the wrong boots right here, which is, thank God for the undo button. Um, I got Merc Dreads because they have a lot of CC, actually. Um, with, uh, it's a Leona, I believe. Is there support? I can't tell right now, but I believe it's Leona. And he kind of gets good over right here. Bite! The Vola Bear Bite is, is, uh, excessively strong, especially mid-game when he gets a little bit of HP. But yeah, they have a Leona support, and that right there is pretty much enough to, to peel for the Callista, so I know I need my dreads. So I'm, I'm going ahead and, and just waiting for her to bait them, and then I see that Fuller Bear's already low, so I go ahead and finish him off real quick with the stun, and then I decide to go for the Callista, who I, I go ahead and, and um, smite to slow her down. And then I see that it's just a Leona back there, so I decide to go ahead and just go for the Zed. Um... And that's a really easy triple kill for me. I mean, I'm that was I was three kills deep, now I'm six kills deep. So um, I'm getting pretty big at this point, and we just, we just go ahead and do the dragon real quick, and then I probably go and do my red buff next. Um, this is when Skarner kind of gets very kind of ridiculous if he gets a little bit ahead because his passive is pretty much just free CC. Like you, like his two other skills that you have to hit him with or hit them with to proc it uh, are. 
AoE and just incredibly easy to land. Uh, and right now, what I'm trying to do is get enough gold so that I can get both my catalyst and uh, the little health regen item, which I forgot what it's called. Which you can see, I canceled my backup pretty sure because I noticed that if I wait a couple seconds, I can, or not a couple seconds, if I do a little bit more and get a, to up to 1400, then I can get both. Um, and that's just that's just uh, trying to be efficient with my time. If I realize that I'm close to buying an item, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and kill something. If there's something to kill, I will out go ahead and just do it. Uh, so I see now I can get my catalyst and my thing, and I forgot what it's called. <laughs> I wasn't over it long enough to see. And I go ahead and pick up a couple wards because uh, we're so ahead right now that vision is gonna help us keep that way. And so if I can get some deep wards or anything like that to help. Uh, keep vision and know where the enemy team is and that's gonna help us a lot So I go ahead and go for a blue buff and then I think I can top after if I remember right This game is pretty fresh on my mind because it was just a little bit earlier today So that's why I know what's gonna happen next. It's not always this predictable um, However jungling is uh, once you jungle a lot like as much as I have I jungled a lot in season 4 um, and, and quite a bit this season and I see right here that this is pretty much a free kill because he tries to juke back but uh, I go ahead and uh, I tell him, like I'm in Skype with him and I tell him bite bite or like just nom him like just eat him like I'll give him the kill uh, because I already have six kills so I decided to let go ahead and let him have something as well um, and bot lane kind of gets out traded right there which is unfortunate but that's okay and I see Vola Bear down there so I go ahead and um, Till top, I'm gonna like I'm gonna put some deep boards so we know where Voldemar is up top when he goes top jungle, um, and then I go ahead and steal a little bit more of his jungle uh, because he has bottom. And, and, and if I do this, then I'm just starving him more experience and more gold, and then that will just progress us further ahead as far as um, the gold difference and and everything like that uh, because he is their primary front line. Uh, like Leona will probably be. be be the end up being the CC bot. Mostly Leona's end up being a CC bot, and then so I get in, and then the other front lane. I get really confused here because I'm walking in the bush, and my hawks are not detecting the shroom because they're supposed to. And then I move and I get hit by one right there, and I'm like, what the heck? But it's funny because uh, this one it does see, so it was really odd to me. But uh, I get the slow on him, so that pretty much just makes if, if this a free kill because he doesn't blind me for whatever reason. Um, and I don't know why Leona tries to come in and help him, though. Uh, that's just another free kill for us. Jinx tries to pick up one, which was actually pretty smart of her because it was in the right area. It's just we killed them too fast, basically. Um, Yasuo was asking me about my skill order, but uh, this, this Yasuo was pretty decent. It was funny. A lot of people don't really know about Skarner. Um, just what he can actually do, he's, uh, but he's one of my favorites. My two favorites to play right now are uh, Skarner and, and Gragas, but Gragas gets banned a lot, so I end up playing Skarner more. Because um, uh, the ones like Sejuani and Bai and, and uh, Volibear are pretty much banned every game, so. I did play a lot of Volibear and a lot of Udyr before, but Udyr's um, a little bit harder right now because just because of his kit and the way he works, he gets kited out really, really easy with the with the current meta picks uh, as far as supports and stuff like that. Everybody's focused on peeling, and then you have you know champions like Kalista that can kite really, really well. Um, so here I go back and I get my Righteous Glory, I think it's called, which is the speed boost item, and that's so good on Skarner. Um, I, like I said, I run movement speed, quins, and masteries, and then I, a lot of the time, I'll actually get the alacrity bonus, which I didn't this game, because I just didn't think about it, um, and then that gives me such a high movement speed, with, especially with my W, and then, sorry, adding, uh, righteous glory to that, I can just barrel into their backlight, uh, Yasuo missed his Q there and flashed on it anyways, because he thought he would hit, but, that's okay, and then they decide to fight him for whatever reason. I come down because I want to get clean up if I can, but they're, they're just too strong. They're too far ahead at this point. Um, it wasn't even worth it for me to come down. And basically, we're just pressuring all the different lanes that we can. Uh, Cho'Gath is pressuring top pretty well. 
everything and I can't like I'm trying to juggle here if I want to actually dive her or not I could have flashed older the problem is that I only have a certain amount of if that would have hit I would have went in for sure but I only have a like a decent amount of, of armor but I go ahead and put on the righteous glory and then go for her right there because she overextended for sure um, and at this point I feel like they've started to give up because I think they said that team away of Cade uh, and this was really well played by us well because they start doing stupid stuff I don't think that they really like I don't think this Leona realizes that they're this far behind um, which is kind of funny uh, but I just get a free kill on him and then I realize that he's backing here he's gonna flash but I flash as well and I get this prox oh no that's right I don't end up killing him uh, I realize that the tower is gonna end up doing too much damage to me and, and Jinx doesn't want to attack him for whatever reason um, which is fine so I just go over here and do uh, do blue buff and at this point I also notice that dragon's up but um, they're, I know that they're probably not going to go for dragging because uh, Volibear's Bear's top and, and the Chokath's pushing in. So I decide to um, just go ahead and steal the blue instead. Because that's starving them of something that is pretty much guaranteed theirs. It's in their jungle. Whereas uh, dragon is something that would, could be contested. So I'd rather, at that low HP, I'd rather get the thing that's guaranteed and then come back for the dragon. Um, so I'm just clearing more jungle. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I actually should have done here, I'm sorry if you can hear that, it's my phone. What I actually should have done here is backed and then came back for the red buff because um, I'm actually wasting red buff like time um, because it only, the, the buff only lasts for you know a duration of time. So I've, I should have actually waited and then come back and do it. But uh, again, I, I noticed here that I'm close to being able to get my frozen gauntlet. Um, which a lot of the time I go back and forth between Frozen Gauntlet and Frozen Heart on, on Skarner, kind of depending on how the game's going. Uh, if they have uh, a attack damage person that's getting more fed, I'll go straight for the Frozen Heart because um, I'm going to need it to be able to zone them and help, help, help keep them down. I always get the Gracial Shroud and then I decide from there. This game, I realize that we're far enough ahead that I can just go for the Frozen Gauntlet, uh, and it's really, really, really strong, because you're pretty much always casting skills on Skarner, um, Q is on an extremely low cooldown, and you're using your E to slow them at all times, pretty much, and so, um, having that, that Sheen prompt, essentially, and then the slow is really nice, too, and I look there for Wit's End, because I realize that we're far enough ahead that I can build, like, some attack speed and, and damage, um, and we actually don't have like hardly any fish on the map right now, which is kind of funny. Uh, they could have, they could capitalize on that potentially, but they don't end up really doing anything with it. Um, they're kind of like arguing with each other and stuff at this point, which uh, is kind of silly. Um, but I mean, that's kind of solo queue for you. Um, and Joe Cat right now is like, what the heck? There's a lot of people up there, <laughs> so I decided to come up and try and help him out. And he flashed me, which is really good. He avoided, uh, wow, I'm sorry, that was a yawn. He avoided the red damage. I go ahead and ult Callista, and I had already procced my, uh, Righteous Glory. So I go ahead and ult Callista for the, for the CC, and then he eats, uh, the Zed, which is a lot of damage, and then we can kill the, the Joker, or the Volibear Bear pretty well, or pretty easily, sorry. And they're pushing bot lane right now, the two carries. I just kind of dope around right now, and I'm like, I'm gonna go get buffs, because I can. Uh, it's At this point, it's pretty much my jungle as well. Um, like I said, this is an extremely, just, like, literally everything went right in this game for me. It's not always like that. I played a Star Garner game, game sorry, um, probably a couple hours after this one, and I got invaded probably three different times before I was level four. Uh, and that totally screwed over my early game. Um, I actually have that recording, and I'm actually pretty tempted to make a, a video out of it as well, just to show um, kind of what you want to do when you are behind like that. I smite him to death. I love doing that. It's so much fun. Um, and we get a couple more kills right there, and they end up surrendering right here. But anyways, to show what you to do when you're behind in the jungle and how to how to still play safe and do well. Uh, 
so yeah, that's pretty much that, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to see more, I guess let me know, and and uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, all right, have a good night.